this is Lazarus 1.6 with Free Pascal 3.0 and I downloaded multiple versions here is the version for Windows 32 bit exe right so I'm selling my own to Linux and I go ahead and proceed with the installation of Lazarus here's the installer This is just very default installation procedure for Lazarus Windows. And by the way, the Linux version of Lazarus is already installed, so I'm only uh, adding the Windows version of, uh, on top of that. While this is installing and going on, I'll actually do something else to save some time. I'm now opening the Lazarus Linux version. So again, I restarted these steps. I just actually cut off a piece of video because I wanted uh, I wanted to make a clean project in its own directory. So here I I restart. I just make the proof of concept again. I create a folder on my desktop called POC. Here it is. POC like proof of concept. Here's the empty form. Again, I drop a simple edit box here. And I put a button under. Now on this button, when the user clicks it, I just show I will show a message box with the text, wh whichever text is inside of the edit box. Just like this. Now project. I save it. I save my project. I will save it on my desktop inside of POC folder here. I will call the project also POC proof of concept. There we go. I go to project settings, project options, okay. And in compiler options, here's a f uh, here is a um, place where I can decide what will be the name of my um, uh, compiled uh, executable. By default, that name is whatever is the name of my project. So because my project, I saved it as POC. So the name of the executable after I compile the, pro uh, the project will also be POC. But what I want to do is I want to copy these, uh, uh, these variables here above uh, from the library settings and add them, these two variables, at the end of my name, um, at the end of the name of my compiled executable so that every time I compile it, the name of the executable would at the end also include the, the, the CPU type for which it was compiled and the operating system for which it was compiled. And save it, okay. Let me run this one time, just to test it. So here is the uh, application. I type some sample text. Okay, it works. It's not great. It's just a proof of concept, so it's just a program. Now, if I go to the folder POC on my desktop, inside of the folder, so on my desktop, inside of the folder POC, I see here an executable, an executable called POC X8664 Linux. Now let me close the Lazarus. Closed. And this is the notification from my installer that I just completed installing the Lazarus Windows version. Finish it. I actually have a shortcut already on my desktop, but I I use dual desktop so I need to move it over to the second desktop, which is closer to the camera. And now I open the Windows version of Lazarus.
So my Windows version of Lazarus by default starts on my primary desktop, but I just move it to my secondary desktop. The IDE launched on the primary desktop, I just move it over here. And I go ahead and I open the project that I just created in Lazarus for Linux. So I go to desktop to POC and I open the project. So here okay. is the exactly same project and here is the project folder open. Now I change nothing. I do not change a single thing here. All I do is I run it, which will compile and then it will execute the compiled version. Please take a look at what is happening here inside of the folder of my project. As I compile it, so now actually it is compiled and executed. I have a new file here. This time is POC i386 Windows 32 bit and this here is the very same program but compiled for Windows so as a programmer I am able to use Windows tools for writing software and write a software in those tools a Windows software that at the end I can just copy and distribute to Windows users and I did all of that I did the writing the compilation and running for testing everything I did in my Ubuntu Linux without um, using any sort of virtual machine without ever going to Windows in this example I use my Ubuntu Linux to create a software both for Linux and for Windows and I did not use any virtual machine and I did not use any sort of emulation just directly. So this is great, but this is just, let's say, very basic stuff.